I got my first Assault Systems case in 2004. Bought it for an AR I had. Um, they've had a few changes over the years, but the prices haven't really gone up much in that time. I believe I paid like 104 for my case. And nowadays they range anywhere from 90 to 145 depending on the size of the case. Um, I do wish that they still made... Uh, there's the original logo, by the way. Uh, it's changed a little. I do wish that they still made it in OD Green. The site says they have it, but it's not an option. So I wish they would update that. Either bring it back or don't put it on the website. Anyway, um, there's some changes over the years. This one's got the uh, metal D-rings and straps missing. I have lost that strap 10, 15 years ago, maybe. Maybe less. Um, got another case here that's got the original strap style. Let me see. Here we go. Uh, this is one of the uh, submachine gun type cases. I got this thing for 18 bucks at a gun shop. Guy traded in an Uzi and gave him the case, and they had it in their little bargain barrel, so I picked it up for 18 bucks. Good deal. And uh, since that was such a great deal, um, just to let you take a quick look at it here. This is like my camera. So yeah, I'm using this for a uh, Scorpion Evo carbine. Here's the, it holds the mags and fits perfectly. Um, but let's take a look here. And it's got the, uh, one of the changes is the metal right here. Uh, the newer ones are plastic. So this has got metal D-rings, metal clasps. And this, but this has the newer label. So I guess this was kind of in the period when they were changing stuff over. I'm not sure. Maybe after they got acquired by uh, uh, Elite Survival or however that relationship is, whoever owns who. Anyway, um, here's a look at the ones I have. I've got everything from the sub guns to longer rifles to the shotgun uh, one that they make. Um, really nice little collection there, and that's all the colors uh, that they have for except for the OD green. Bring it back. And here's the shotgun one. I uh, used to keep an 870 Remington in there. Then I switched over to my Vepper 12. It'll hold the five round mags of the, the Vepper 12. They'll be a little snug, but they will fit. So let's go ahead and uh, put up some specs here as far as uh, their different models that they offer and sizes. Um, their stuff's a little bit dated as far as their info of the different kinds of guns that'll fit, but you get a general idea of what they offer. And again, guys, they really need to update their website. They also need to be bringing back OD Green. And quite frankly, if they could bring in M81 Woodland, I think that would sell really great. If you brought back either one of those assault systems, if you're listening, I know I will buy at least two cases from you. Maybe three. Before I forget, a little pro tip. Uh, if you've got an AR carbine uh, 16 inch barrel i would not get the size two get the size five uh, because if you've got anything other than an a2 bird cage and the standard stock yeah uh, it's not going to fit if you get a magpole stock or anything like that it is not going to fit haven't really talked about the quality of construction um, they are extremely durable they use a thousand denier nylon uh, ykk zippers uh, whatever Velcro they're using, hook and loop, um, 20 years of use, and it's like it's brand new. So I can tell you these things are uh, really, really just about indestructible, can take a lot of hard use. Uh, that shotgun case has taken a lot of beatings, been a lot of places, and it's holding up great. Um so that's pretty much all I've got to say right now is regards to assault systems cases. So if you like this video, please click that thumbs up. And looking forward to uh, everyone's comments. And if you're not already a subscriber, uh, please do subscribe. I really want to build this channel. And I, I want to be able to, at some point in time in my life, be able to do this full time and bring you a lot more content. But until then, you know, got to work the nine to five. And, um, you know, working on some other things, got some t-shirts in the works on our website and check those out. Uh, just trying to do some other things, get creative here. So if you would, um, take a look at our website. It's kind of not that great right now, but I'm building it. So please be patient with that and look forward to seeing everybody in the next video. Thanks.